Well, there was a, uh, or Zion was talking last night, and he said the, where he had to guard Lillard, and he got up there pretty high in the pick and roll late in the game. He said uh, Herb just like told him he's like blitz this one. Is that like, does that happen often where just like players are just like, let's just do this? Like, how do you, how often does that happen in a game where it's just like players kind of make a decision and it just happens? It does happen, and um, we we try to make sure that our players understand that we we'll give you environments in which we want to play in. We'll give you game plan discipline that we want to execute. But sometimes they see things on the floor, and especially if it's her involved defensively, he's earned that opportunity. He's earned that right. Zion is, is guarding at a high level. So when those guys see something like that and they do it and they do it aggressively, we're all about it. And with Herb, it's like this guy, you know, really knows what he's looking at defensively. So it's like, sure. He may know more about defense than all of us. So <laughs> whenever he gives a suggestion, we're all listening. For sure. were, you, uh, were you surprised at all to see him and Dane barking at each other a little bit last night? No, I'm not surprised. Um, it's kind of who both of those guys are. They're competitors. And uh, it gets like that sometimes throughout the course of a game. I talked to Dame after the game, and he just talked a lot about the physicality that you guys played with and how hard that was defensively. How pleased are you with that, and how much you need to carry that into tomorrow's game? It warms my heart. It's, it's all I want. Uh, every game, every practice, every shoot around, I want a, a team. We want our teams to go out and be physical and to compete at a high level. And that's what you ask. That's the request. That's the command that we, we have on each other. And um, it was great to see, to read Dames. I read his quote uh, about the physicality level and the force that we play with. That's who we have to be. And you mentioned the practices and kind of competing on a daily basis. At this point in the season, a lot of teams are taking days like today off or are giving guys days of rest. And you guys are committed to really practicing whenever y'all have a chance. How much is that kind of your mindset versus the way these guys kind of work on a daily basis? Well, we definitely try to have a balance of when of when we're going to practice, what we can do in practice. Um, but any any day we get, any opportunity we get where we can compete against each other, we want to do it. I think Trey has something for you guys. Hello, Coach Green. Um, <laughs> what's the first thing you think of when you think of her guns? Defense. First team all defense, right? First team. First team all defense, for sure. There you go. Thank you, sir. Yeah, no problem. That's an excellent reporter right there. <laughs> uh, but now, just when you see the progress Zion's made over the course of the season on defense in particular, where have you seen him kind of progress the most? Uh, I've seen him. The progression for him is, that, number one, he's taking ownership. Uh, that's a mature step when you can take ownership and responsibility of this is the area that I want to improve in. And then he's he's taking the steps to do it. Um, you guys have been watching him all season. You can see that he's competing at a high level. He's guarding at a high level. He's contesting shots. And then I love that his multiple effort. It's, it's not that I just, I just stop this guy, but if the ball is swung, there's a rotation, he may go and block a shot, get an offensive rebound, defensive rebound, and then we're off to the races. Well, look, can you describe how special it is to see Zion where 48 hours ago earlier, OKC, okay, you guys didn't close well, even said himself he needed the ball more, and then he goes out and does it. I mean, against the league of the 450, the best players, for him just to almost seem like he had a switch, he was able to do it. Yeah, that's special. Um, like you said, there were some moments in the OKC game where we thought that the ball could have touched his hands. And not that he's going to score all the time, but his gravity gets other guys' shots. And uh, we wasn't able to get it in his hands. He didn't demand it as much. And then to have to carry over the next game to say, OK, I'm, I'm going to go get the ball and I'm going to make something happen, get to the free throw line, step up and make his free throws, get quality looks for his, his teammates. I thought it was high level on his part and, and definitely a, an area of growth for our team in the right direction. Would you say that's all NBA caliber to see somebody be able to do that, the talents that Absolutely. he shows? Absolutely. Zion is, uh, you know, he, he, he should get a lot of credit for um, the step that this team has taken this season and this, the maturity that he's, that he's shown throughout the course of from the beginning of the season, training camp until now. What do you think of there in the fourth quarter, late in the fourth, or early in the fourth quarter, you had like Matt Ryan, JV, Najee, Herb, and a few of the fifth guys, but all rotating correctly defensively. How do you, I feel like players one through 15 are really bought in defensively. From your standpoint, is everybody bought in and how are you kind of implementing that defensively? Yes, uh, to answer the question, everyone is, is definitely bought in. Um, that's a blessing. 
Okay, so we, we don't take that for granted. I know that that comes from a lot of prayer. Uh, from my perspective, it comes from trying to make sure that I, I'm leading, but I'm a servant leader. Um, so being respectful to each other, um, all of those things, they help players and people buy in. And um, we come on the floor and we work on it. Everything that you see on, on that us do in, in games, we try to make sure we get on the floor, we watch it, and, and we, we try to work at it. What do you think things are right now with uh, Jose and Dyson? Um, Dyson is progressing well, so, you know, tomorrow is promising. But um, I don't want to make a full commitment until we get there. Uh, Jose, you know, didn't go through practice today, so we'll see. We'll see how he feels. But tomorrow's not looking good for him. I know we're going to get an update on BAI, but I'm just curious, has he started any kind of movement or anything like yeah, that? Is he, he allowed to do that? He, was, he did some movement today on the floor. So he's getting better and better. Um, but we don't have an update further than what, what we've given you guys already.